Well, Richard, we saw the Superbike lap record go. Can we see it in the 600s? I think this could be the best race of the day. Definitely this will. Oh, Lee Johnson almost got mobbed then, just gathered himself up and rejoined the race. Peter Hickman, poor start from him. He was on the back wheel. It was hopping and skipping and jumping, but the flying kilo sorts them out. Dean Harrison's having a look over going, where are you coming from? Well, how did that happen? I was in the lead just now. He's back out in front, or no, he's behind. He's in third By place. a long way, isn't he? He's in third That's place. That's a big gap. Yep. Uh, coming down to Leathamstown, he's in third place. He's got Peter Hickman behind him in fourth. Lee Johnston out just ahead of him, and Davy Todd. Another cracking start from Davy Todd on the front row of the grid. Second wave away. Mike Norbury in pole position. A gap beside him, and it's uh, Mark Parrott and Davy Morgan. But those are the eyes of Dean Harrison, and they're focused up the road because that's where he wants to be, that's where he needs to be. So fast, so furious. It's Johnston from Todd, from Harrison, from Hickman. Jamie Coward in fifth place, a little gap between the top four and fifth. Didn't that slipstream sort them out? Lee Johnson really didn't get a good start, but he's right out there now, isn't he? Straight out in front. You can, I think the flying kilo can be a little bit sympathetic sometimes. You may not be the fastest off the line, but you can get it back. You can gain it back what you've lost at the flying kilo, can't you? Yeah, even on that opening, that even when they're not really up to uh, full speed. They're up to full speed now out of Ireland's Lee Johnston. He's had such a great campaign in British Supersport this year on the 600. Davy Todd, great second place at the moment. Well, yeah, he's, uh, he's on the Milenko Paget's uh, Honda this time. Dean Harrison looking to take second place away, but as he's doing that, he's going to lose third to Peter Hickman. It's Harrison and Hickman all over again. Oh, uh, my goodness. 675 Triumph Triple Spitz Flame. And Davy Todd applying the pressure to Lee Johnston, but don't look over your shoulder, Davy. Oh, in the grass, who was that? My goodness, that was a little bit too close for comfort. But here comes Peter Hickman, a little too close for comfort for Davy Todd, I would say, as they go through Jordan's Cross. They are yes. on the pipe up here. Davy Todd holding him off. Impressive. Well, Davy Todd's a scrapper, isn't he? But uh, it looked like Hickman just had the speed to go straight by him, but there he is, stuck behind. Davy Todd had that big crash here last year at Diaz Leap, didn't he? And it, not showing any signs of. That, that doesn't bother of, him at all, no, does exactly, it? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, they're bunching up slightly. Maybe Jamie Coward might be able to uh, break that little gap down to Dean Harrison, who finds himself in fourth place. And here's a look back at Lee Johnston's start and a little bit boggy off the line. And the rest of the front row goes breezing past him. It doesn't help, does it, when the likes of Dean Harrison and Connor Cummins get a better start than you do. But then again, the margins are so tiny. And the slipstream works well, so although this looked bad at the time, he soon made up the ground on the flying kilo. This is going to go from first to fourth to third to second to fifth to sixth to seventh. To th yeah. It's going to be that close, and here, comes, here. here comes Peter Hickman. Straight through, this time he makes it work. But he's up against... I would have said, even though Peter Hickman started in pole position, for me, Lee Johnston on a 600. This is Lee Johnston's class, isn't it? This, and Peter Hickman's yeah. the superbike man against the super sport man, and Lee Johnston looking to break away. If he can just break Peter Hickman now... I'll tell you what, I don't think he really needs to. He just needs to be in front when you get to the chequered flag. I think these boys are going to stick together, and we're going to get an absolute freight train of a race from the top four. The gap's behind Dean Harrison now, isn't it? That's where it's appearing. Well, yes and no. I mean, half a second between Lee Johnson and uh, Peter Hickman, and a second covering the top four of the line, and less than a second back to fifth place. Here they come. Johnston, Hickman, Todd, Harrison, Coward still further back. David Johnson disappointing. He's way down the order at the moment. He's down in about 12th place on the leaderboard. But Peter Hickman... <laughs> has been picking them off, and there is David Johnson, number 10. We saw some great moves here last year, some really bold moves going up in towards wheelers when you wouldn't expect them, but not on this occasion. Through they go. So the top of the circuit dropping around. down. <laughs> yeah, don't look around. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I wonder if they are getting boards around the circuit, or do they just wait till they complete the lap? Seven miles is the uh, distance, of course, of the Dundrod track. He can smell Hickey's aftershave, he knows he's there. He's there, yes. 
But anyway, Lindsay Hepp in again. This is a great one for sorting ooh, them out. Ooh, ooh. Is Hickman, it? Hickman. Oh, he did think about that one, didn't he? He did. Dean Harrison just tucked in, and we've not missed anything at the front. Hickman is still behind Lee Johnston. See what I was saying? Hickman never did anything wild at the hairpin in any of the other race. He was as calm as you like there because there's not a lot to be gained. He's thinking about doing it there because he can't think of anywhere else. And also, what's going on with Dean Harrison? And he keeps nudging his helmet. I wonder what's going on there. Anyway. Again, another great battle further back. You don't have to be running at the front to have a great race. Oh, it is a great race as Todd and Harrison are trying, aren't they? Yes, yeah, Dean Harrison right now on Davy Todd's back wheel. Is Davy Todd fading? No, I don't think so. The gap here is growing, isn't it? Bit of Hickman oh, is further ahead. Fastest lap for Hickman. 328.38, 127.8 miles here an hour. Here comes Dino. Just getting a glimpse, Dean Harrison making the move on Davy Todd, and we cut away to the, the battle at the front again. Yeah, Hickman's got him. Hickman now leads. So Hickman ahead of Lee Johnston. Lee Johnston, who holds the record, the lap record for the 600s. Still, David Johnston just can't get close enough to Dominic Herbertson. So up into Ireland's again they go. Hickman from Johnston. Harrison back in third, of course, with Davy Todd in fourth, but that's still that's still very much up for grabs. Harrison desperate to bridge that gap to, to this yeah. battle here. But I think Lee Johnston might be falling back into his clutches unless, right. unless Hickey, uh, Hickey's just going away again. That uh, Triumph is a beast of a machine, and uh, Peter Hickman's a beast of a rider when he's on it, but Lee Johnston, look at him, just riding the slipstream, closing right up again. Yeah, I have Lee Johnston, he's a quality rider, and as you've seen, he's another rider who's doing British Championship, so too Dean Harrison, very wide, out of the uh, windmill. But here comes Lee Johnston on Peter Hickman as he's trying to get on the slipstream. Yes. My oh. goodness me, we have a new race leader again, or the old race leader is now the new race leader again, and Davy Todd has also passed Dean Harrison. It's all happening on the run up the hill. That's the slipstream for you, but Dean Harrison now looking at the back end of Davy Todd again, and he won't be pleased about that, but Lee Johnston will be very happy about this, but that silhouette's just a single bike there, wasn't it? And this is why every year race fans flock to Northern Ireland for the Ulster Grand Prix to witness racing as close at the, as this at speeds as a little slide for uh, Peter Hickman. Oh, and Lee just standing it on its nose there and waving the back wheel in uh, Hickey's face. Hickey will get a, a smell of the uh, past now because he thinks Lee was a bit uh, on edge going into the hairpin. He might try and snap him up on the exit. So much happening in this race. We're ignoring all the fine racing going on further back down the field. Everybody's having a, a great opportunity to make the most of this racetrack. David Johnson, number 10 on the Honda. He was 12th at the end of the last lap. He's bridged that gap now, but I'm surprised to see David Johnson down there, but he hasn't been racing as much as these guys have of late. And here is Hickman on uh, Lee Johnson now again. It's the, it's the exit. It's getting onto the slipstream here, isn't it? Yeah. I thought he'd do it coming out of the uh, hairpin, but he didn't do, but he's right on Lee Johnston's toe. He knows how hard Lee Johnston is riding now to stay in front of him. Yep, I think we're going to see another mugging. Dean Harrison threw on Davy Todd, or is he? Yeah, I think so. He is. Hickman still behind Lee Johnston and pushing him, pushing him. And very often, you know, when the rider bit, and here's the uh, the wave two battle. We've been talking about uh, quality riding all through the field. Yeah, Mark Parrott leads that one, bike 16. And this poor Dean Harrison just watching. Oh, Lee Johnston. He's oh, asking that, isn't he? That's commitment. Oh, dear. Well, David oh. Todd is out. Oh, my goodness. That's a mechanical issue, quite clearly, and we've lost that battle. Dean Harrison won't be too disappointed. We're on board with Peter Hickman. This is Jordan's cross, really bumpy. He's going to do it on the run down to the flag, as he's got to do it after the Lindsay hairpin. Oh, coward ahead of Cummins now. That's a nice little battle. That shame we haven't seen more of it, but of course, this is the... Oh, oh my goodness! Becky. No! Becky. No! No! That well, was... <laughs> Two bikes on the right-hand side of the road. There was a gap Lee? just enough, big enough, oh. as Johnston now says no. You want to ride it like that? I can oh, ride it like that. And it's my. an outbreaking competition into the hairpin. Hickey's got the lead at the moment. We saw something very similar with uh, Irwin and Hickman a week ago at Thruxton, but this is even better. 
It's going to go all the way. Can he stop it in time? Oh, Hickman's got the line. Now he's all about Johnston. Johnston. Can he get in on the exit? Sorry, Rich, yes. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> he was thinking he's got to get the drive out of the corner to come alongside him. It, I thought Hickey would wait. To there we go. go. Oh, there Lee. we go. My. He's through again. Oh, Hickey. Hickey's, <laughs> Hickey's back in front. Oh, Lee Johnston and Peter Hickman. This is this is, a, this is the greatest lap I think I've ever seen at Dundrod. My goodness, they'll be talking about this one for years. But I think Hickman might have it now. I was going to suggest that Johnson's not close enough, and he isn't close enough. It's going to be Peter Hickman is going to win an absolute classic here at Dundrod at the Ulster Grand Prix. Fantastic race. What a privilege to be here watching that race on this circuit. Those two. Dean Harrison in third. Oh, we need to lie down after that one. That was an unbelievable last lap. Wow, that was just astonishing, but here's the confirmation. Let's see what the gap was going over the line. 0.3 of a second. And that was the biggest gap at any time during that race between Hickman and Lee Johnston. Well, what an astonishing race. Proper race, that. I mean, uh, I'll enjoy watching that back on TV, to be fair. I mean, the last lap, you know, Lee's so small anyway, and his bike's really good, so I just sat in his slipstream, no problem, but I couldn't really properly pass him, but uh, coming out of the hairpin, we go through the next left, I'm not sure what it's called, but he ran all the way around the outside and be ready for the right left through Flo Bog. And I just hung out on the outside, on through the right, ready for the next left, so I had, had the line then, and uh, yeah, mega race, really, really enjoyed it. Credit to Pete, you know, we rid out of the hairpin bar to bar, probably three, four corners, and uh, he's a safe fast rider, you know what I mean, and it gives you the confidence then to do that, but I just clicked the limiter on when we were going over the crossroads, and that just gave him enough to, to get a wheel on me and, and come round the outside, so yeah, sort of my mistake, but credit to Pete, he rode really well, and, and his team and stuff, so yeah, we have to be happy with second today.